check, check. Hello, I'm MC Toon, and it is Toon's Day night. That means I've got a debate, and today I'm debating. I'm talking with Daniel Bland. How you doing, Daniel? What's up? Good evening, everyone. All right, I see. Uh, I see you are. Uh, I'm so you know I'm colorblind, but I can tell that you're wearing a Green Bay Packers hat. Yeah, the figures a glove believer would like to use. Actually, I think it's not Green Bay Packers. I live in Minnesota. That G looks familiar, but I think the colors might be a bit off. You're right, right. But I did wear those uh, the same uniform in, in the green and gold in high school with the Griffin Bears. All right. The same with the Green Bay G. All right. Excellent. Uh, I, I don't... It's, it looks just the same as the Green Bay Packers, huh? How about them dogs, back-to-back -back national champions? Who, who the georgia bulldogs baby oh sorry i don't <laughs> i don't know baseball um so uh anyway uh, why don't you uh introduce yourself a little bit if you want and then we'll uh, we'll get into it yeah so i'm a biblical cosmologist i've been uh on this path and aware since 2014 on the record um about the motionless earth since 25th early 2015 I knew in 2014, but just wanted to make sure I uh, mastered the information uh, before encountering guys like you. So here I am, ready to rock and roll. This is so you've you've mastered time. you've mastered it. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Um, so all right, I'll do this. Uh, if you if you want, you can share your screen. I'll, and that's uh, prepping that. So. Anyway, uh, well, why don't you uh, just uh, go ahead and show uh, the evidence for whatever you're, whatever you think it is. Yeah, I like to kind of get a minute, get to know each other just for a minute before we dive straight into combat. But uh, okay, you know, I was watching your uh, some of your previous videos and um, was kind of surprised when you said that uh, you were going to church. Um, yeah, it's interesting that you have a um, you know astronaut guest preacher, but um, you know, what, you know what church do you attend? Um, I don't, I don't want to say too much, but uh, like uh, yeah. ev an evangelical Protestant church, pretty mainstream in the United States here. So, uh, okay, do y'all believe in the Bible? Uh, yeah. My my pastor my pastor watches some of these and and uh, we chuckle at them sometimes. Oh, nice! Hopefully, he's watching tonight. I don't I don't know if he is. Um, See, I but, noticed you never open up in prayer. Should we open up in prayer since we're both men of God? Um, oh. Why don't you go first and say a prayer, and then I'll. No, this I'll, this I'll isn't this, this isn't a religious discussion. So if you need to do that, then you go ahead. But. Okay. Uh, I, I, thank you. Let, all right. Let's bow our heads for a minute. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time to come uh, before you and our friends and family and extended family on Facebook in a quest for truth. Uh, I pray that you will guide us in this discussion and lead us with the Holy Spirit in a path of truth and integrity and righteousness in our discussions that we may be honest and fair in our dealings with each other and that you will convict us when we are wrong and allow us to be humble enough to admit it. And thank you for all the many blessings in our life and the opportunity to share this important truth with a wider off, uh, audience. Amen. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so, okay. I, I was cool that you believe in the Bible because, you know, I watched your... Uh, debate with Austin Whitsett, who's a really smart guy. You kind of had him off uh, kilter. I don't think he was uh, prepared for uh, your tactics, but uh, luckily I had some time to watch and, and be prepared and good to go. So, But at the end, he started realizing the character he was dealing with and, and the time started turning. But 
uh, a couple of things I picked up on there is uh, when you were talking about the expanse, you even, uh, you know, I, he, does, he didn't know it was originated from the Hebrew word rakia, but you brought up the concordance and, and you mentioned expanse, but you didn't really tell the whole truth there. So you're good at, you know, sharing your screen and finding information. Can you go ahead and pull up firmament for us uh, in the concordance and listen? actually read what it says together if you have evidence you, you go ahead but that that's just a religious position i'm i'm about evidence not about religious claims if okay, a right. if a holy book is is to be taken seriously it it better match reality uh so we uh, we go to reality yeah, I, first and then see if your interpretation of your holy book matches or not okay so it's now my holy book and not our holy book well your interpretation of it is certainly different than mine so well, I was you, you brought up quite Strong. Distinctly I, I different. Point, yeah. You're the one that brought up Strong's in your debate with Austin, but you were the one that weren't uh, you know, being honest and forthright. So and you, you know, you are interested in the truth here, aren't you? Yeah, and, and we just okay. go measure the shape of the earth to figure out what it is. Okay, so then we'll, you'll we'll then you can figure out if your personal interpretation of the Bible matches. It's not my part. You brought up Strong's. I'm I never story. brought up Strong's to you. It, I, I, I did nothing to, between this conversation here. You do, you brought it up in your debate with Austin. Yeah, I, you're not Austin. Pull, pull it up, Tune. I got your favorite Tune behind me right here to make you feel relaxed and comfortable. Sure, I, I don't need that. But okay, so you like talking about evidence. Tell, yeah, tell me some evidence. verifiable evidence that the earth is moving, because I can read you four scriptures that say it's Im fixed and immovable. Um, but that, so, but none of that is evidence. That's just claims. Well, I I, exactly. Just claims. I haven't had a lost sheep show me any verifiable evidence of earth movements. So maybe you can be the first. Right. What you so, got. so I see what you've done is you completely reverse the burden. I asked you. You said that you discovered the truth, and I asked you to present evidence, and you don't have any evidence for it. Is that right? Every experiment, hundred percent of our, our physical senses, uh, if you're being honest, do not perceive or feel any motion. So the extraordinary claim is the Earth is spinning a, a thousand thirty-seven miles an hour around the equator to account for day and night. When the starting point is observation, we both observe and feel and perceive with all of our God-given senses Earth to be motionless. Every single experiment that can be independently verified by you and I together is right. going to show. Well, Earth then to be let's motion. see one of these experiments that is designed to measure motion that did not measure motion. So starting from the most elementary to jumping off the ground to helicopters rotating above the ground to shooting a 50 cal with an explosive round, which shoots yeah, stays just, just bring in the air. just bring one, just bring one up. Let's look at the one experiment that you're 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 thinking about here. OK, uh, there's a, a video on YouTube called uh, if you shoot, if you uh, search 50 cal fired straight up. There's some guys out in the desert shooting. Uh, they're not flat earthers, not even thinking about this subject but they shoot a 50 cal straight up into the air. The bullet remains in the air for approximately a minute and 45 seconds before it hits the earth and explodes because there's an explosive uh, tip on the, on the round. Okay, and what do the laws of motion tell us should happen? It tells us that once it shoots up and the earth is spinning, there will be a little bit of residual carryover, but not enough to drop it in the same oh, well, spot. Let, let's, but, let's see that law of physics that you're speaking of. What's that called? The residual carry. Common I'm sorry. Sense. Co common sense is not a law of physics. So, so what is what is the law of physics you're referring to that that causes this residual carryover? Actual experimentation. If we spun a ball and launched something off of it, the ball kept spinning. It's not going to come down. Where? All right. So you uh, change the topic to something else. I'm no, asking you. Um, I'm asking you for the 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 law of physics that says that when when it leaves the gun that there should be some, as you said, residual carryover. Every other experiment on Earth is going to show it not coming down at the same spot on a rotating just, just, ball. Just show it. Just go ahead. You, you, you made the claim. Present your evidence. Go ahead. You can share your screen to present the evidence and the measurements and, and maybe the laws of physics that you're speaking of. Uh, so you're not interested in common sense. So I'm interested you. in the laws of physics. Okay, yeah. what law of physics? Give me a law of physics you're interested no, in. It's your it's your claims about about this that that you're, again. You're saying what again, you're interested in. You have so the burden of one. proof. You have the burden. You made the claim that the earth is stationary. You made the claim that every single experiment ever confirms it. I'm just waiting for the one experiment you have not yet actually shown I one. I gave you three. You haven't given me one. No, you, you made claims about them, but you didn't actually show it. I jump up in the air, the earth doesn't spin under my feet. Are, are you are you actually serious about that? 
Yeah, I'm serious. Are you that. actually serious that you do not understand physics that well? You this is kind of embarrassing you, for a full grown so well. a since full grown so well. adult human and you don't understand the conservation of momentum. It you is taught me. conservation of momentum is taught to elementary age children. They get no, it, not. but you don't. You're indoctrinated in high school maybe with it, but no, not elementary. The, the second law of motion is not indoctrination. All you need to if you think the second law of motion is wrong. You go right ahead and show where the second law of motion why, why are you no longer is a motion? law of motion. Why are you assuming that there's motion when you no, observe the, it? To I'm be sorry. Motion? When I say the second law of motion, I'm it's not referring to anything other than the law of motion. An yeah. object in motion. You Have know, you it, ever right? observed the earth? Okay. Hold on, hold on. No, do, an, an object in motion. You, you, this is the second law of motion. Or first, it's a, this is the first one. Conservation of momentum is the first one. So an object, an object in motion will... Go ahead. You know the rest of it? Stay in motion unless acted on by... There you go. All right, so you shoot that gun up. And the first law of motion applies, right? It's in motion. Whatever motion the Earth is in, whether it's moving or stationary, it re retains that momentum when it leaves the gun. It doesn't just, as soon as it leaves the gun lose that momentum it retains it so if the earth is See, moving or if the earth is stationary why do you believe that where's that been demonstrated the first law of motion the, the are you i just about. want to be sure that i understand you correctly that you are you are claim you are asking me to to back up the first law of motion well in the sense of shooting something off of a spinning ball that it'll come back down and yeah a, and yeah a, conservation of momentum exists i no, just want to make sure that you as a full-grown adult don't understand the conservation of momentum uh, i understand that okay but so then please explain to me it. when the I conservation of momentum stops applying to that bullet i understand you can't demonstrate it just like you can't demonstrate i'm asking you, you to back up you your claim you have the burden of proof not me you said but that there should be some residual carryover when the bullet goes up. So please explain to me the laws of physics applied to that observation. The, an object moving this way and an object moving this way is no way that it can come back down on the same spot. How? Pl please explain to me using the laws of physics how that, how that would not happen. Because every time you demonstrate it, it'll prove it. I'm asking you to actually not just make another claim, uh, but I to mean, actually have, show the a, law of physics that you're we're talking about. No, no, just just cite something it. that says that as soon as that bullet leaves the gun, it will immediately lose the momentum that it had. It doesn't lose momentum. It goes okay. up until it runs Got out Got it. Of so if the earth the is stationary, let's just, let's just review that then. If the earth is stationary, when the bullet goes up, there's no momentum. It comes back down. If the Earth is moving and the bullet leaves the gun, the bullet has momentum when it leaves the gun. But it'll it come right things. back down to the same spot. That's the things. law of motion, the first law of motion. So, I, I'm sorry. It's you clear that you are the one that lacks the understanding of how the first law of motion works. I've, I was indoctrinated and dumbed down. Okay, just as much you, you seem today. you seem to think that that indoctrination that you're putting on me means that I'm wrong. So please just demonstrate where I'm wrong okay. about the first law of motion sure you've existing. Been doing this long enough to be familiar with the Georgia Guidestones that they blew up. Are are you trying to change the topic? Uh, we're talking about the motion. I'm Earth, quite sir. certain uh, you're trying you, to change the topic. You, uh, this is your game, and you suck at it. Everybody gets you're, to see you're it. You're trying to change the topic. We're talking about the motionless Earth. Yes, that's your claim. So I want right. to show you said every single experiment, and you can't find all, all one experiment. Evidence, so I'm just one, you with it, you just one experiment. One experiment. Just one experiment. Just one. One experiment, Daniel Bland. You are the one experiment to support your claim. You one. You have not shown one piece of evidence to support your claim yet daniel okay are you familiar with the george godstones we're just gonna let are, you deny you, all these all right you're, facts. you're gonna you're gonna blast you. all right beat you over the head fine all right facts. wave that wave that white flag let's move on to the next georgia topic go ahead georgia okay what you got then you want to turn what you got for proof of motion you you wanted to change the topic all right just wave okay. that white flag just admit okay. there are no experiments that you have no, we're gonna get you to deny like you do and play your game and i'm just where, gonna beat you where, with truth and let where you is all night long sorry you, you you've you've made a claim 
and and provided no evidence. Again, standard burden of proof right there. That's you. Okay. You right. refuse to support the burn. Of, I'm going to give mine proof. and then we'll see what you got, which is nothing. So let me keep giving mine because I know you don't have anything. That's why you keep deflecting. Let's see. Georgia Guidestones. Are you familiar with the Georgia Guidestones? I am, yes. Okay. What? What? How do they relate to this subject? You're, you're, uh, you have the floor. Go ahead. Okay. The, the tiny diagonal hole through which Polaris was visible every clear night of the year, 365 uh, nights a year for 43 years. Tiny diagonal hole, all night long, every season, despite three different simultaneous different alleged motions. Are you really not intelligent enough to understand that? Doesn't right work? I, this is your your time to present your case. Go ahead. Yeah, well, that's pretty common sense. Once you under, if you understand, if you know about the Georgia Guidestones and how they were constructed, okay, and go you ahead. Will still believe Earth could move three different directions simultaneously, and that star could maintain through the, maintain through that uh, tiny diagonal hole. How, how wide was that Every hole? Night of the year, 42 years. How wide was that hole? Are you really that challenged and emotional? Uh, how wide retarded? was that hole? Huh? How wide was the hole? A couple centimeters. Yeah. And and uh, so what was the margin of error of that measurement? Obviously zero because it stayed perfectly on it for 42 how, how years. Perfectly. Well, there's no such thing as a zero margin of error. And you well, said perfectly. So you said you also said that the hole was two or three centimeters wide. Three so how, how what is the margin of error of that measurement? It's not zero. The there is no such on. thing as a zero margin of error for a measurement. Okay. okay, Sherlock. It was dead on the. What is the uh, margin of error of that measurement? It was dead on. Dead on. Here. Dead on is not a margin of error. Okay, there, Mr. Genius. What it's was the margin of error? It was perfectly lined up. Was, was, I'll give you the answer that you don't understand. Looking okay. through that hole, you had two to three angular degrees wide. Two At to two three, degree, two to degree three degree degrees angular. wide, depending on how close your eye was to the hole. Now, the precision of a measurement. Uh, that we can that we can find for the position of the stars is certainly much better than two to three degrees. In fact, we've ha we have quite a few. Explain what you mean by two to three degrees. What's two to three degrees? You don't know what degrees are. I know what degrees are, but what are An you claiming? Two An to three angular angular width of something. Where where's the measurement on that? I'll play your game for a minute. Where's the measurement on that? Yeah. So you could you can Why apply. You yeah, you can apply the angular width formula. And and you the distance. Okay, pull that up and show it. Pull, so, pull it up and walk so us I, through it. I, I certainly. You could apply the the angular distance formula to the far end of the of the opening. We're talking about it right. Drop right down. Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't done explaining it. Just let me explain well, it you first. Explain why you're writing it right. down so I can understand it better. So so you take the distance from the eye to the far end of the hole, which you said was. How do you two measure that? How do you measure that? How do you measure that? Well, how thick was the the so stone? Tape measure from your eye to the hole. Yeah. Okay. Right and what? and the thickness of the of the stone isn't wasn't hard to find out right and and then you so then you have that distance there. So what, what was it? My goodness, you, you you're asking me to explain it, I but you won't let me explain it. You're giving you a dose of your own medicine here, Tooney. All right, what, what, got what, it. What is it? What is it? Let's see it. What is what? These claims you're making. Oh my the gosh. math, the measurements. Come on, man. You, All right. you, you should be expecting a little dose of your own medicine tonight. You're up against uh, somebody that's been doing this as long longer than you have. No, you haven't. I don't play your little games. I I pray for you, and I'm here to expose the demons and demonic spirits oh, possessing you tonight. And I'm going to do a damn good job of it, <laughs> God willing. Uh, all right. Let me see here if I, I have uh, – oh, no. I do have uh, – I'll pull up some diagrams for you so you can you can look. Look, let's quit wasting time. Tell me which evidence you got to believe that uh, your fairy tale belief. That so, sorry, I was I was station. in the middle. It's not, all right, you don't want to see that. Fine. You apply the angular size formula. I've done it before, you, and you you can figure out the angular width of the hole that you're looking through. You have two to three degrees when you're looking through the Georgia Guidestones. But the actual measurements done by people that can that have precise measurement instruments for the positions of the stars is accurate to one arc second, which is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree. That's how precise people can easily measure the position of the stars. So you are referencing a measurement that is no better than two degrees 
uh, of, of position, I can pull up measurements that are accurate to one arc second. So you're, you're not intelligent enough to understand why one di diagonal hole fixed on a spinning sphere while also moving two other simultaneous directions could not remain fixed on one part. All, all you it. would need to do is apply the actual claims of the Earth moving through space and show where it does not match. But you did you, not is actually... It's impossible to model because it's, I mean... It, it, it's been thoroughly modeled. You can use... You can use uh, VS in computers, but not so, in reality. Sorry, VSOP eighty seven is a model you could use to to see what the actual heliocentric model claims no, for the position in reality, not some bullshit you believe, but an actual no. demonstration. Well, in let, let me get this: you are making claims about our model. You said moving multiple I'm an directions. On your model too. No, I, no, I no, you're not. You don't know VSOP eighty seven. You've never heard of it before. Grade. I was highly but, but listen up. Program. Listen up, Daniel. You are making claims about how the Earth moves, but you did not actually do any analysis. All you did was cite, actually parrot, your I Papa said, Flurf, and say exactly the same words that they said. You said, said the, the same sequence of words that Dearth says about the, the movement of the Earth through space. The exact not, same, the exact, exact of, the, of our claim, of our claim. You've made the exact same claims, the same words that he used, you parroted perfectly, like an indoctrinated saying. fool. You completely parroted him without doing one bit of analysis of how the earth actually is claimed to move through the universe. So if you don't have that actual analysis, you cannot be making the claims about how you think the Earth should be moving and how Polaris should be moving. You don't know. You're pos you're talking from a position of ignorance. I do know. I do know. But you have do not have that. you do not have any measurements of Polaris. That's the problem. All you have is the Georgia Guide Zone, which is a. Let's talk about another lie you did. No, 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 no. We're not done with this topic yeah, yet. No. I'm going to I'm going to destroy your claims about Polaris. I you just want to make sure that me. that you make it clear to everybody what your claim is. So what is that your it's claim about possible to model um, a scope attached to a sphere that's also moving two other directions simultaneously, and that scope remains fixed on a distant point. You, you did all right. So you didn't actually do any modeling of it. There is a model I'm, I'm for telling, it. I'm telling you it's impossible. No shit. I I'm telling it. you that VSOP 87 is a model that does exactly what it's, you claimed it cannot it up, do. Pull it, up and, pull it up and show it to us. <laughs> you, you brought it up. It's your, your proof. Let's see it. <laughs> it's a mathematical model of the positioning. Oh, it's, it's something you don't understand. Great. So show it to us anyway. <laughs> Uh, you can you can use it. It's been implemented in code. You can actually pull it up as the uh, uh, Pi Ephemeris in Python and There's run it yourself. Unicorns that have been integrated in so code. Let, let me make it clear. You make claims about our model. I'm correcting you on how our model actually works. You Why? don't just say You're it's moving in three directions, parroting your Papa Flurf. You actually You're need to show line. the analysis the application of how we claim, because if you're not doing that, it's called a straw man. I got I got one for straw man here. Let me let yeah, me pull it up. It's your favorite thing. You're like a parrot, like a broken. Here record. you go. Straw man. When you make claims about how the earth you think should move through space and do it wrong, you're straw manning the globe. You so you've you said mean? without any evidence yet. Well, you so haven't so any when you when you movement. claim that that the earth is is not moving you have made a religious claim with zero evidence every all the evidence all my god given sense you, every experiment shows this motionless you said that up. before but you refused to present one experiment I've that you actually three. you did not I've you you, you said you things i asked you to apply the laws of physics and you clearly didn't even know the laws of physics and how they apply to it that's the problem with you. You've not, I don't know how long you've been doing this, but all you're doing is parroting 2016 stuff from your Papa Flirt. All Flirt. I'm going to keep doing is pointing out your incompetency when it comes to providing evidence of Earth's alleged motion. Because <laughs> you're great at that. You're, you're, all right. you're like a dancing, you, you should be at a clogger. If you were from the South, you probably would have been a Dixie Lohan clogger. <laughs> clogger. All right, here you go. Here is. Here is rotation of the, these are these are measurements of the rotation of the Earth. 
right here. We've got optical gyroscopes right here. How to detect the Chandler and annual wobble of the Earth with a large ring laser gyroscope. These are these are very nice experiments, high quality experiments that measure oh, the oh, rotation the of, the of the Earth. So how did Polaris stay in with the wobble too? That's a grass of fourth uh, motion that you're still too incompetent to put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you don't understand that, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, but you can. Thank but you they, for helping. I they, appreciate. They do. Like I said, you're they doing do. A great uh, job for the flat Earth yeah, movement. Right. You're amazing. Here, here you go. Detection of Earth's control. rotation using superfluid phase coherence. Using this device, we determine the Earth's rotation rate to be precision. Uh, precision of 0.5 percent with a measurement time of one hour. So this particular so one. So this, tell me, explain to on. us. You, yeah, you asked, just, hold on, you asked me. I'm giving you exactly what you asked me. The Compton so this, generator, I read that. This isn't yeah, a Compton, that, this isn't a Compton you, generator. The one that, you, well, it's a donut like that. The hell it ain't. This, Click on it or read it. Research a Compton generator. It's a donut. It says, I looked it up and I was right. laughing my ass off so, so, about so how I, gullible you are. To so here is. This is yeah, it it, it, it is you gotta flip it over 180 degrees and then it this is not the Compton up. generator. There are similarities to it, but this is not the Compton generator. That that toroid there has has liquid helium in it. Liquid helium has zero viscosity, so there's no resistance between the walls of the of the donut and the and the helium. So when it when the the device rotates, the the fluid inside rotates independent of the device. And Simple then they're guys get fooled by stuff they don't understand like this. Like, like this I, is the clearly novel. you don't understand this, but yeah, saying nah, -uh, you, saying nah -uh is not an actual you refutation. You can't understand this is instead of, I understand this well. No, you All you have no, you is personal don't. incredulity. No, you don't. And, and in what way did, would this prove the earth is moving? So if the device Why do you need a donut with liquid helium in it, e why aren't you smart enough to easy, find a more basic easy? Well, I, I don't. There's no necessity for it to be easy or basic just because you don't understand it. I understand so this very well. So, so Dan, Dan, Dan the Earth's motion yes, was, I'm, I'm about to, but you're going to interrupt again. This device okay. sitting there affixed to the surface of the Earth, if the Earth is moving, the the fluid in the donut will rotate. They they put this affixed to the Earth, and the fluid in it rotated. So how, why in the world would rotating fluid mean the Earth is spinning? Because the rotation of the Earth is uh, in parts a rotation on the fluid in it. It's so again, why, it's why, a conservation of momentum bottle, thing. Why is my water bottle never swirling? Because your water bottle is way too big and there's too many other forces applied. This one, they isolated so everything to, out. You need to go to something like helium and stuff that's... Yes, a, yeah, because it's not that fast. Nobody, that, that's not, something that's not it, independently it, verifiable. What independently verifiable proof do you have? I'm sorry. Earth? Personal incredulity doesn't actually cut it and saying, oh, it can't be independently verifiable. You don't have it any independently, isn't you don't have that, any independently verifiable Oh my proof gosh, you, what, what a loser. It's... That's just waving the white flag there, dude. No, I'm not. You you, you clearly have out. no refutation to actual no, science. Not, I think you're this is actual believing. science, and you're like, nah, -uh, with zero well, reason for why. For believing that uh, helium circling in a tube is proof of Earth spinning. One. Why? Two, why? You're even more why? You why? Can't, why? You can't provide one why? single independently verifiable proof. What you can re you can do you're this independently. To Go ahead. One. Do this independently. Go ahead. You can do this independently. Just because you aren't smart enough to understand what's going on doesn't mean that there aren't other people that are smart enough to understand what's going on. You could do this yourself, but you're not smart enough, Daniel. This is independently verifiable. You just don't want to do it. You can't understand it. It's over your head. To me, it's just a... a, a you parading your gullibility how like, is what's wrong with it point out what's wrong with it if there's nothing because, wrong with it then you have to go to other things if there's something wrong with it then point it out please yeah there's just no logic into this previous proof of earth's moving you, you didn't it's not a that, measurement of earth's moving it's like a pendulum like you guys point to a pendulum which is the number one tool of magicians and hypnotists just to show how well, brain how does that have anything to do with it i'm specifically showing you this one here you asked for a rotation of the earth i show you rotation of the okay. earth you, you cannot that, respond that, on topic to understand. the rotation of the earth this is clearly over your head it's a real problem for you i problem. know how you got fooled by the flat earth hoax it's because you're not very bright. 
No, I know that you're dishonest and you're doing the devil's work. What's wrong know. here? Yeah. Show me what's wrong here instead of making accusations. But, it is retarded to think. Show me what's wrong movement. instead of making accusations and insulting That's people. Not a measurement of Earth's movement. Show me what's wrong instead of making baseless claims about it. I'm telling you, you're not listening. You, you are not you're, making you're, any you're, claims. You're, all you're doing is all you're doing is making claims. There is no on? evidence behind your claim, though. You're just saying, nah, you don't like it. Therefore, you're going to hand wave dismiss it. But that is exactly how you lose when you have nothing. You just say you have nothing. You have no refutation. So when you have no refutation, you can't actually top uh, respond on topic. Instead, you must go off topic. You must say it's work. retarded. That's not actual refutation. You want to refute it's not a this? Measurement of Earth movement. That's okay, how is it not a measurement of Earth rotation? Please because describe the physics about supporting your claim. Tube. You're not talking about the Earth movement. So what? How does that refute it? Why would the fluid in the tube not I rotate? Mean, if the earth I'm is rotating a, i'm quite amazed at how retarded you have to be to believe this is proof of earth movement to be honest i mean i applaud your so efforts. so you don't have any refutation of it you just have insults yeah i got insults. got it got it all right now let's go to the next one that you won't actually understand either this one here this one's simpler detection of earth's rotation with a diamagnetically levitating gyroscope this one's pretty simple here. You see that there? It's a plastic ball being suspended in a magnetic field. So again, no, not a proof of Earth's movement. Absolutely, no, movement. because it's rot because it's suspended. With magician toys again. It's suspended. Sorry. Do you have a refutation, or are you going to wave the white flag again? I mean, I'm just saying, nah, -uh isn't it. actual refutation. It it's is you showing that movement. you believe a lie. It's not a measurement of Earth's movement. Yes, it is. It's it's show how it's not. Of your gullibility. Show how it's not. It's, a, it's another great example. Of your show how it, it's not. Because all it's it's all not, you need to do. You have, you have to point to these papers because there is no simple proof of Earth's movement. It's show not how it's not a measurement of Earth's rotation. Show how it is. You're I am. I am. The burden of proof is on you. Absolutely agree with that. Yes. So they suspend this ball in in a magnetic field so that it's independent of anything. It's not touching anything. Then they wait for a while and they measure its rotation and the change in its rotation over time. And they discover that it rotates 15 degrees an hour just as the the Earth is claimed to rotate. They they confirmed once again that the Earth rotates. An hour does the sun move? It has the sun wasn't in the room. It has nothing to do with it. But yeah, the sun does move fifteen degrees an hour. Something that can never work on flat Earth either. How many how many degrees is the sundial uh, moving an hour? Fifteen. Why? Oh, I got it. Now, can you measure? Can you show me a sundial replicated on the globe? Yeah, that's not that hard. What All you right, cannot well, do well, is show a go. sundial replicated on flat Earth because on flat Earth the sun would always be shining on it. No, oh, yeah, we get it's totally been replicated around an obelisk on a flat floor with a uh, overhead light circling around. But show me where it's been uh, modeled on the globe model. It's based on the globe model. That's that's it's ridiculous. No, it's not. My answer. All right. Well, definitely. Sure. My sir. The problem is the sun sets the the <laughs> on flat Earth. The sun setting is doesn't work, and so the the sundial would always be yeah, in work. light. It works every every night. It works. <laughs> you you know. Yeah, every night the fall the flat Earth is falsified when the sun sets. Hey, the sun yeah, could never cool. set if the Earth were flat, due to the law of perspective. No, no absolutely not. Whoa, well, well, then show it. Go right ahead and show it. Atmospheric uh, magnification and lensing has been shown. Rob well, go Stevens go go right part. ahead. Go right ahead. Show it. Show how the sun sets. I mean, I'm not. I don't have a whole file. I'm not. I've been doing this five years, like you have. So you claim I, I, to be have been doing it longer than me already. So there's another lie on Facebook, but not on Zoom. And I don't have like files on my computer. All right. Well, why did you lie then? You you said you haven't been doing this as long as me, but before you said you've been doing this longer than me.
a little debating on Facebook, not on Zoom meetings and uh, video. Debates. So you, you don't have you don't have what you claim. This is my second. You're the second person I've. Uh, all right. Well, then about. don't make claims you can't back up because, well, I guess that's all you can do. Shit. Yeah, all right. It's all you got. You, you, you look on your video. Every single it, claim you, you make, video you don't have evidence. In her dorm room. You were trying to use this evidence as gravity and saying that massing against mass has been proven and it had two bowling balls and a stick. Yeah. And you, you were that video that you were saying is proof of gravity shows that you don't even understand gravity as taught by the uh, heliocentric theory. Oh, well, the do, do inform me what, what I got the wrong. The stick should have been drawn to the balls in gravity. It was repelling it, which was actually more in line with what a magnetic force can have repulsion properties. What was you repelling? Have drawing the stick to both balls, and you weren't even smart enough to understand. What are you talking your about? Your proof was proving you wrong. Pull what are you up. talking it about? It, it, this, it did move. No, put it up. Pull it up. You're the one that brought it up. I don't have it handy. Go ahead, bring you, it up. You, well, you pulled it up in your debate with Austin. You obviously had a handy then. From three years ago. Oh, that was three years ago. I thought it was uh, pretty recent. <laughs> I've been destroying Witsit for years. <laughs> Witsit kicked your ass at the end. You got him a little off in the beginning because yeah, he wasn't no. expecting your demonic. Yeah, he wasn't expecting, expecting me to have evidence. You know, I, I saw uh, you and uh, your boy Shane Gold, uh, when he didn't show up, you and your other buddies uh, started sitting around making dick jokes for about five minutes before I cut it off. Are you? How long have you been uh, into that kind of lifestyle? Uh, cute. Cute. Huh? Cute. Um, Was that your boyfriend in the van? One of your boyfriends? Yeah, thanks. Good Good job like there. When, when, you've got, when you've got nothing, let me uh, let me pull up the card for you there. Let me pull up the card. So did you play Magic the Gathering too? No. There go. There it is. There it is. What other card games do you play? Ad hominem, right there. Ad hominem. Play solitaire since you don't have any friends to come to your meetups. <laughs> My first meetup is next Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, so. nobody will be there, huh? Uh, like your, gay, your gay buddy from the van will be there. I don't know like, why you, you, you gotta why I don't know why you gotta go there. Gay or not, the earth is still a globe. No, it's not. It, it doesn't change anything. You're it's still like, wrong, even if somebody's to, gay. You love clinging to pillars and balls with no proof. Just right. because you have you're, you have a demonic stronghold over your life. You're you're demo, you're demonically You're the one that's constantly dead. lying, though. No, I'm not lying. Yeah, you, you totally are lying. You made claims, and then you can't back them up. That's a lie. Did 19 hijackers commit 9-11? It has nothing to do with this conversation. Well, just answer me. You can't. Are you, are you getting off topic because you're scared? Yeah. I I'm, got it. Uh, I understand. Wave that white flag because you can't support your claims. White, white so I run away from your claims. Run away from the topic to, because you have no evidence to support to your claims. You're not man enough to answer questions? It has, it, it's, it's off topic. Why, why are you getting so frustrated like you're about to have a heart attack? <laughs> why you can't you stay on top of blood pressure? It, my cholesterol is, is pretty good, and I have a blood pressure uh, meter. Doing well, too. Thank you, though. It, it looks like you should, it might be really high. Like You might want to get a check. All right. That, let's, uh, more ad hominem. Do you actually have evidence? Do you have a refutation? You, you, don't, you, don't know, you don't have concern for anybody, do you? Uh, all right. All right. So... I showed two measurements of Earth's rotation that you had nuh -uh for. Let me get you a third one here. Neither, neither one was an independently verifiable measurement of Earth's movement. Completely they're, verified. You can were, do it yourself. They were, Go do it yourself. They were magician shows that show how gullible you are to even think that that would be a measurement of Earth's alleged movement. I mean, so, so you say, it but it's you, not actual evidence to just say nuh -uh. much to fool you. Don't All you did was say nuh -uh. All right, yeah, let me show that's you, what you do. You're a yet another guy. one. I learned and, that from you. And, and I can actually, I can show you a, a third party that's done this. So anyway, this is Scientific American 1905. So it's a pretty old one. They, they, uh, they used two 50 centimeter spinning discs. And they got them spinning and they suspended them from a wire. So here's Again, the, this uses two. Bullshit, this, this is, this is a third way to measure the rotation of the earth independent of the other two the ways third way so to show how easily this you uses two the measurement of the earth 50 centimeter spinning discs each with a mass of 
30 kilograms spinning around 2,400 RPM. This is suspended by a wire and allowed to rotate freely. So people do an experiment. Here is here is a photograph of it. Here's a photograph of it. Right there. That's a photograph of the device they used in 1905. Just like you, all you need was that tinfoil wrap thing. So so there there is there is a third way that is independently verifiable. In fact, uh, FE Core paid somebody to build one of these themselves and it measured rotation they tried to bury the fact it that that measure measured rotation. rotation why in the world do you think that device would measure the rotation of the earth because because it's independent it's in an independent frame of reference the wire that's supporting it allows it to move freely and mm -hmm. the centrifugal force uh and the gyroscope effect of the rotating discs there makes it want to stay rigid in 3d space but because it can only pivot on one axis it it's forced to only pivot on one axis the other axis is our three are things that low. they told you where their gyroscope so, so here is yet another piece of evidence that you blindly refuse to accept because you are a liar you have no refutation for this other than you don't like it, it's therefore not, it must not be it's real. Not a measurement of Earth's movement. That's it, all. It shows me how stupid you are to believe. So it. you've said, but you can't actually refute it. I, What's I wrong? What is wrong that, with this? That, Does that, the that gyroscopic you, effect you're, you're, not you're, you're exist? The gullible sheep who thinks you're smart because you re memorize. Does the, the gyroscopic oh. effect not exist? Is that your claim? The gyroscopic effect is not affected by gravity. You're gravity has nothing to do with this particular experiment. Hey, no, you brought up gyroscopes. Gyroscopes aren't affected by gravity because it doesn't exist, Sherlock. Has nothing to do with the experiment, but of course it does. That You're wrong about that, but gravity please stay on topic exist, here. Sherlock. In no. this particular density, one... Density and buoyancy fully explain oh whether an object will so rise dumb. or fall. Gravity was only needed to trick sheep-like tune that water could stick to a spinning ball. Another thing he cannot what replicate about his false theory. Of of all the ideas of how things might fall, density and buoyancy is the dumbest of them all. So you know. So all right, I think on a, topic I think here. A soccer ball. I think can, a soccer ball. You, soccer ball falls through air because it's more dense than the surrounding air. But I take that same soccer ball and hold it underwater; it shoots straight yeah, up. Yeah, you, you have no idea of the forces at play there. But yeah, let's yeah. let's let's wrap this topic up. Let's get your final white flag on this topic. Do you say that the the gyroscopic effect does not exist? That things rotating do not want to stay rigid in 3d space i say you're too is that your claim to find a measurement of earth's rotation so i you gave you three to, to stuff i like gave this. you three i gave you three and you that's just said no oh uh, you didn't have any refutation for them all right that's not a measurement that, of earth's move. that white flag third time on rotation got it <laughs> All right, no, now, no, you don't have a single independently verifiable. All these lists of proofs you got, not a single one of them is independently verifiable. That's of Earth's absolutely independently verifiable. It's been that's independently retarded. verified. How retarded and it's been, in fact, all of these are independent verifications of the other ones because every one of them independently verifies that the Earth rotates at 15 so degrees an hour. Because the sun and moon are moving this, 15 what, degrees what an ether, hour. There's a what ether, a, wait, what ether would be involved in this? This isn't magnetic charge that the sun's generate when it radiates positive charge down on the earth oh my gosh you have zero idea how that works <laughs> huh why is moonlight cold there Timmy? it's not cold i measured it it's warmer you're absolutely retarded i, I personally dollars. measured it you're it gets warmer i live streamed it times i've taken girls i, they drink I live streamed it you are lying you see behind me there's that lens right there behind me a fresnel lens i use I, that I, lens to focus the moonlight on the bulb of, th of a thermometer and it, and it got even colder and it so got two lying. degrees warmer i i live streamed it hundreds of the everybody watching this this is a 20 dollar tool that you can buy at lowe's or home depot and if anybody believes this clown is fucking has an ounce of truth in him then go to home depot or lowe's buy a 20 dollar infrared thermometer make sure that there's no roof above the shadow so they can use excuse that you know it's trapping uh heat from radiating away from the earth eliminate all their sheep excuses out of the gate shoot the infrared thermometer in direct moonlight it's always going to be colder than in the uh shade and the greatest differential is in the full moon 
Um, so yeah, nobody's done exactly what you said. Demonic possessed deceiver. Nobody's this, nobody's ever done what you just said. Integrity. You have zero integrity. You're just lying about that. For themselves, how big of a demonic deceiver this douchebag is. You just lied again, Daniel. No, you, you just you lied, lied again. You lied I today. personally I did it. I live streamed the whole thing. In truth, can for twenty dollars find out which one of us I, is a scumbag yeah. piece of shit. That would be you, be Daniel. That would no, be you. Sir. No, sir. That would be you. So, so right. once again, so earth. please, you're scum. You're a homosexual scum, is what you are. What What is wrong with you that you you have to? You just you have nothing, so you just jump to the insults. That's it. No, you don't have anything. What, what kind of what kind of a fake fake religious lovely. person are you that you're sitting here insulting people and swearing? What the hell's wrong with you? What what hey. what kind of a disgusting hey. piece of garbage fake Christian are you? Are you intentionally I'm not a pretending? Christian, are you intentionally I'm not a pretending I'm to not be a, a oh a person of faith? Whatever whatever weird version of of faith you want to have that you 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 want to pretend like you're doing, but why? Why do you, you do? Why are you doing? Are you trying to make people of faith look bad? Is that why you're in here insulting people How and swearing and and being such an absolute horrible person? Why How are you doing you? that, Daniel How Bland? Daniel Bland, you? why are you so awful that your only response is to insult people when you have zero evidence for your supporting for your claims? You have nothing. You made a claim. I asked you to support it. You can't. I show evidence. You're like, no, uh, you have nothing. All right. So we'll see. Distance to the sun. I can show verifiable measurements and experiments. Go right ahead. To be three, show 3, it. 3,000 miles above the earth. Go ahead. So the sun is uh, Go the ahead. United States 3,000 miles wide. Anybody can drive across and verify that length. We know that the sun is directly overhead approximately at noon on the east coast around noon. Then three hours later, it's overhead on the west coast. So therefore, something's moving a thousand miles an hour, either the earth or the sun. But because of the angle of the sun on the horizon, we get a 30, uh, 30 degree special right triangle and can see with it. If we know one side is uh, 3000 miles, it's going to put the sun 3000 uh, miles above the earth. And that let's matches see our observations. Let, let, let's, of let's see it. Bring, bring it up. Bring it up. You can share your phone. screen. I got it on my phone, but not on my computer. But I'll show it to you and I'll put it in front of the computer. And the best you can bring up is some cornell.edu that talks about measuring the distance to venus to find the so you can't verify that my math nothing is verifiable nothing There's actually all. enough independently verifiable uh go ahead show it let's see all my ma mathematical equation yours doesn't because nobody can validate the distance to venus that's not independently verifiable and so that's the assumption that has, you get stuck has into nothing has nothing to do with it of course, it has everything to do with it. I was on the. I played football, but my math teacher used to beg my football coaches if I could, uh, if I could skip football practice to compete for her on math meet days. So I when, when on what day of the year is the sun directly over California? Do you know zenith? Every day the sun passes directly over California. In fact, or that never happens ever, ever. Ever since yeah, Calif Venus all of California is north day. of the Tropic of Cancer, it's never directly above California. Well, it has a zenith over their position. It's right? never, right. it's never at ninety. The sun it's, is always between the tropics. Absolutely. Yeah, and and California is north of the Tropic of Cancer, so your triangulation doesn't work because it because your work. drawing shows that that it works uh, better than anything you've got no, to back up your ninety three. No, I'm sorry, it, it 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 completely fails because your diagram assumed that the sun was directly zenith above California. No, what kind of juvenile drawing did that? What kind of ridiculousness was that? The sun is never directly over California and your diagram showed it. Your diagram 
is dishonest. It claimed that the sun was directly over California. The zenith. Let's use the term zenith. Okay. Again, you, you the, your semantics game that you, you like to play, but you can't just accept some honest. You, you but it's not honest. It's terrible you, you know geometry. Zenith, you know what zenith means? Yes. Okay. So the zenith of the sun is around solar noon at both locations. They're three thousand miles apart. That zenith is three hours apart. Do you understand now? That has nothing to do with it. That the geometry, my goodness, you suck at geometry. Wow. I'll whoop your ass. Ed. I'll put you're, as much money as you want on a standardized geometry test. You are test. terrible at geometry. Well, let's let's go head to head in a standardized <laughs> test on it. That's my gift. <laughs> let's do it right now. That's that's why I trip out on you getting fooled by the best you can come let's up do with this. depending on a measuring Venus. It just shows how the dumbed down sheep you are. Let's do it right now. We're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna show, you're gonna show everybody how good you are at math, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. All right, I'll give you a, I'll give you a math problem. You can, you can use. This is an open book test. All right, you're gonna change the topic. I understand yeah, no, you're gonna want to change we, the topic. We haven't got off the first topic yet because my first thing with you is what verifiable proof do you have of earth ledge movement? You yeah, I showed I showed three. You didn't like donuts, it. spinning water and donuts, like not a single thing about a measurement experiment related to the to the earth and it's even one. All right, here you, here you go. Here you go, Mr. Math. Here you go, Mr. Math. Simple. Simple. Solve this triangle. You got it's a right triangle. Right, right angle there. You've got 7,920, right? And you've got 22.5, right? Solve that triangle. Look, we're, we're talking about evidence here. No, you, you claimed that you could outmath me. Go ahead. Just waiting, go ahead. I'm not here to do math problems. Oh, you can't. You can't do it? So you can't outmath yeah. me. You you would you don't even know what you would do to to do that, do you? I to be how, how would how would, would uh, rush up on that part of tree? No kidding, no kidding. How many years of doing this and you can't do the simple trig to solve a triangle? You wouldn't even know the first step, and you think you can outmath me? The hell's going no, on? You, what the hell kind of stupid idea? That, you, you know, one of the angles is ninety, one's twenty-two, so you would. Subtract 90 from 22. Yes, yeah. I could figure it All out. Right. But that, I'm not going to sit here and waste everybody's time. What's this side? Um, What's this side? Right here. What's that side? How are you going to get that side? By get figuring out the other angle, by subtracting. Okay. Got by... it. You got that angle. So then what? Then it's proportional. The the uh, A and B, if, if, if the vertical is A and the horizontal is B, it's going to be proportional based on the angles. Okay, uh, and what, what what do we call these proportionality relationships? They have names. It's just because I don't know your name, I just told you what it is. So see how stupid you are that just because somebody doesn't know. I'm what sorry, it's you're you're the I one that claimed you that, that you could outmap me, and you don't know the names of these proportionality relationships. You're... I'll give you I'll give you a hint. Sokotoa. Now, what's you, the name of the of the you, portion, proportionality do relationships? Have, do you have a verifiable proof of the sun 93 million miles away Anything? that doesn't involve something like Venus that you can't verify? Sure. No, you uh, don't. Sure. After we, after we, you after you wave the white flag on this one. So there I just want to make it clear. I just want to really drive it home. I can out math you. You don't even know the names of the proportionality relationships here, even when I gave you the hint of Sokotoa. Sine, cosine. Oh, tangent. there you go, uh, yeah, man! I, I really I'm had to. Not sit here to I really had to give that to you. To death. Dang! I really had to give that to you. you, you know, wow! I know. I know this stuff. I'm just not trying to bore your audience. But you could have. I mean, you could have just from the from the get go done that. But uh, did, I did. I, I told you. What I'm. I'm, I'm did, did somebody send you a message? Did you see me look away from this I, screen? I, I don't know. I wasn't looking. I'm just asking. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I fantasize it, about that. It's, aren't you? it's fine if you do. I'm not saying it's wrong. I said it was an open book test. All right. So you got sine, cosine, tangent. Specifically, though, what would be the one if you have this angle? So look, And this quit side. Quit, quit distracting right the fact that you don't have any evidence. I gave you evidence. You didn't give me anything. 
You gave me nothing, it. Daniel. 3,000 miles across the United States. The sun has moved 3,000 the, the miles. The OG Kenji is asking Daniel, you pray to God with that vulgar mouth? Yeah, I actually do. I, mm, uh, gross. Yeah, spit you out. I'm, I'm um, Old Testament on you. All right, so here is, for reference, uh, I I did measure the height of the sun, assuming flat Earth. It did not go well was for that, flat Earth. Was that one of the your guys from your uh, gay fraternity? That uh, I was. I've never been in a fraternity. Um, I don't know of any in particular that are gay. Maybe your your knowledge of that ex exceeds mine. I mean, y'all y'all sit around and make jokes about measuring your sticks and like laugh like you want to go. It has has nothing to do to has nothing to do with anything. But here you go. Here is here is my Normal my guys don't sit around my, and do that. My personal measurement from December of 2019, right there, of of uh, the height of the sun, assuming that the Earth is flat. Here I show you my methodology. I get the angle of the sun by measuring the shadow length, right there. It's not too important how I did it. You could use a theodolite. You could use an app on your phone. There's multiple ways to measure the angle to the sun. You could just use a, a, a protractor if you wanted, and you'd get pretty close. But I did measure it. I got 22.5 degrees. It's that, that number that might come in later. 22.5, that's the angle to the sun. I plugged that in to a spreadsheet with a couple other people. Right there is that 22.5 again. You see that? So I was 7619 kilometers away from the Tropic of Capricorn at the time. That's where the sun was. And I measured the height of the sun over flat Earth using a method significantly better than the one you tried to use, 3,162 kilometers. What was that method? How did you do it? I, I measured the angle to it. Right here. It, it's this. This is the actual measurement that I did. I, I wrote down the number wrong. It's not 7,900. It's 7,620 kilometers. The answer to the problem... That, that you couldn't do 3,162. Now, this is in kilometers. This is science. You do science in metric. You should. Sometimes we don't. Whatever. That's how high the sun is over flat Earth from my location in Minnesota. Assuming that the Earth is flat. The problem is that my friend in Israel there, he got a, he got, he's at 31 degrees north latitude. Doing the exact same thing, he got a height of the sun of 4,463 kilometers. Same day. So how can <laughs> how can the sun be both 4,463, oh, that's an 8, 68 kilometers, and 3,162 kilometers at the same time, at the same day? Perception can, perception can skew that uh, calculation if you're... Um... It can skew it by 1,300 kilometers? How? Yeah, because it's like if I stood at the skyscraper, I have to look straight up to see the top. But as I start backing away from it, my gaze goes down, down, down until it converges. Yeah, and the trigonometry height. works the same. You get the same height. If you measure the height of a, of a skyscraper from any distance and apply trigonometry, you're going to get the same height of that skyscraper. So... Triangles, triangles uh, solve things. You can get the height, just the same height every time. That's not how it actually works, what you said there. I challenge that. You challenge that. Clearly, yeah. you don't have an idea of how trigonometry works. We've already displayed that. You you have zero understanding of it. I told you I did the problem. So, then, using the same measurement... That we did this, these same angles right another friend was at 45 and a half degrees north latitude using all these same numbers we we get this this variation of 1305 kilometers for the height of the sun a drastic variation the sun could not possibly be at that same uh those different heights at the same time falsifying flat earth so when you you did your one measurement i did three measurements they disagree with each other you did one you didn't have a independent verification of it i have three different verifications it's of it independently verified on a pretty much daily basis that the sun is over show the show the, the measurements show the measurements 
That, that's why they have to tell you the truth. Don't show the measurements the truth about in the globe model. Show the, the measurements. You, you made a claim. You've you got no supporting it. evidence. You're, you're not show the measurements. You're, 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 you're I'm just waiting for you to spirit. show the measurements or wave the white flag. <laughs> the measurements are 3,000 uh, diameter of the United States, 3,000 miles, and the sun travels 3,000 miles. The Earth is there's no evidence, no experiment, no observation. When I fly on an airplane, I, the Earth's motionless under me. You know, you just keep parts. saying the same religious mantras with no evidence. No, it's not religious. When you when you start Science to get when you start to get nervous and you're like, oh crap, he's got evidence. I better do something. Go report. Go go to your religious mantras to make you feel it's good. That's what you're doing, mantra. Daniel. Science you are making observer. the same claims without one piece of evidence to support your claim observation is not evidence to you no your no. observations are thought, garbage I, you did not apply the, science, the trigonometry right you don't understand with on observation no the, there is no one mantra version of scientific method is it observation is not a part of it you, you certainly can do an observation yes but that is not the evidence Wow, you finally said something honest tonight. I pre hey, good job. We're making progress. All right. So, have you ever observed the Earth spinning, or can you? Tell I, me how I've I observed observe? the uh, effects of the Earth spinning. Yes, I have. Effects. What, what effects are those? I see north and south celestial poles. Something that could not happen if the Earth were flat with a single. You don't understand. You don't understand single... why you see the uh, the stars rotate opposite directions. I do understand why I see stars rotating the opposite directions. Yes, and because explain, the Earth is a sphere and it is rotating. And so there must be two celestial poles. Interesting. So what, uh, obviously in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun, moon, and stars rise in the east and set in the west. What are, what, how, what direction are they rising and setting south of the equator? It, it's the same, but the North and South Poles Celestial poles are counter rotating. One is clockwise. Oh, wonder, one is counterclockwise. I, I wonder why. If we're if they're if they're both coming from the east. Oh my gosh. The west, the, so there is can... no flat Earth explanation for a south oh, celestial yeah, pole. Is, oh, the hell, there's not. No, there's, there's nothing. No globe explanation. Okay, so if I put star for a planetarium, have you ever thought about why a planetarium is like a firmament dome with the stars projected on it? All right, get, get on with your presentation of derpity. Yeah, have you, you, know, you can't acknowledge that? that chop, uh, chop. The planetariums are all built like the biblical firmament model. Let's, let's see. Ahead. Integrity is Go what ahead. we're looking for. Go Integrity, ahead. Can, you, can you acknowledge No, that? they are not built like the Earth. They are not built like the expanse. They have a they have a ceiling over it, which is not which is not what, which is not the, what the Earth of, is. Why are you lying about the etymology of firmament? Why'd you lie about that in the wits of the expanse? Video? That it means yeah. expanse? Because yeah, I've I, I've spoken with Jews who speak Hebrew natively. But you actually brought up the concordance. So let's pull up the concordance and read it. Go ahead. You pull it up. You, you're the pro at this. I, I don't have it. You're the one bringing well, it up. You it's do your is evidence. Google firmament concordance, Strong's concordance. Come on. Here you this go. is your game. Burn of proof would be saying that the burn of proof lies not with the person the, making the claim, but your, with someone your, else. Your so lot in life. You have the burden of proof. So go life. right ahead. Bring up your evidence supporting your claim. Well, pull, pull up. You, you were, I your claim. Show evidence that you were being deceptive. Your claim. In your, uh, wits it. Pull up your claim, not mine. You brought up. Uh, your claim, not mine. No, Go ahead. you claimed it in your in your I, video. Pull it up. When did I bring it up today? Go ahead. You your claim. Pull it up you know you're a liar. Go ahead. Let's see it. You want to pull it up because you know you're a liar. The expanse is only a small part of the definition. Pull it up. If it is any part of it, then it then it can be one of the chosen of but it's, definitions it, it clearly, of it. It clearly says it's a solid thing. Pull it up. I, I don't care at all. It's a religious book. Are you not smart Your particular to... interpretation of a religious book does not change reality. Reality still is reality, even if your version of, of a, a book says otherwise. So you, never... you would need to actually support the claim that the firmament exists as a physical rainbows, thing. Rainbows, hello, rainbows. Have you never played with a prism and understand that a prism uh, reflect, reflects light in the shape of the prism? Have you ever seen a, oh my uh, gosh. a prism you use in a classroom make a rainbow shape? 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, it has nothing to Are do you with not it. Smart enough to understand that you can't make a rainbow inside without using glass or a mirror. Have you really been living in a barn this long? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Dead serious. Oh. Uh, all right. Say, say it again. I want to hear you say it again. The, the shape of uh, prisms, the, the, the reflected rainbow light uh, matches the shape of the prism. All right, so? So rainbows are the prism. The dome is the prism that separates the light made on day one. The sun, moon, and stars weren't created and placed in the firmament until the fourth day. All right, the, day what, what, what does this God, have to do with the shape of a rainbow? Because you hate God's word and God's truth. No, what does this have is, to do with the shape of a rainbow? Because I love it. What God's does this word. have to do with the shape of a rainbow? Go ahead, explain it. It's the prism making the shape of the rainbow, revealing but, the shape of the prism. But but what prism? What the prism firmament. are you talking about? The firmament. Okay. It's strong, like a molten looking glass, according to scripture. Can you draw a diagram of the light's path from the sun to whatever you think is causing the rainbow to the eye of the observer? Can you draw a diagram for that, please? There's plenty of diagrams. On I've there. not seen any. Go ahead. Just, just well, get out a piece of paper. I, I got a, I got a piece of paper. Go ahead, go ahead. Show up it. Any ancient cosmology, whether it's Egyptian just, or has nothing to do. Ancient. This is an ancient cosmology time. This is you telling me the path of light from the sun to whatever you think is causing the rainbow to the eye. What's the path coming from the sun? What's the path? It's not coming from the sun. Where does the rainbow come from? Where does the light from the light rainbow come created from? Created on day one outside of the firmament. Oh my gosh! Above the firmament. How stupid can you be? Because I, you know, you so all right. You, so so why why do you think such a ridiculous thing? Why can't you? Why does the shape of a rainbow? You oh my gosh! Why do you think that has anything to do with just? Something other than the water droplets. Show. Hello, I know you're allergic to real experiments that you can actually do for yourself, and you lie about doing. All right, the good. come on, get to it. Light. Experiment show what? It's a demonically possessed liar. But rainbows, if you weren't allergic to experiments, you could see that they take the shape of the uh, prism. Show I'll, me. Pull up, no, pull up you said there. you said experiments. What yeah. experiment are you talking about? Pull up any rainbow experiment you want, and I'll show you. No, Einstein. let's go. Come you're on, the make. Up. I don't have your experiment handy. They don't care. I didn't. I'm not defining what? it. You pull up any rainbow experiment off YouTube. And let's learn or prism. And and what are we going to see? You, it's going to prove me right. What are we going to see? Did it did the reflect the reflection of the rainbow refraction light is related to the shape of the prism? The the Every prism mm -hmm. that splits light. You know, you're a rookie at this, man. All right, well, here we go. Here's an experiment inside, inside of a house. See that? This is in a garage here. No view of the sky. There's no prism involved. But you see that tube there? That tube has water misters in it. So it's gonna put water into the air, little droplets of water in the air, which is what causes rainbows. And you said specifically, I just want to make sure, you specifically said you cannot make a rainbow inside. Yeah, if you look up every uh, everything, on every instruction on how to make a rainbow inside, you all, all of them require glass mirrors. On all your science. Uh, I'm making shows. you a liar. Being I'm deceptive. making you a liar right now. There's his light. Right there. Showing the light. And there is the mister again. Turn it on. Every time, and there's a rainbow. It's arcing. A curved rainbow. Where is the prism you speak of? I mean, uh, Where's the, the prism? Uh, uh, Where's the curved prism you were talking about? Show any Come on. Don't Don't change the topic. Where is the curved prism you were talking about was necessary? Where is it? TV bakery happens on. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. I don't. Where is it, liar? Hey, liar! Where is it? 
You I said it's not it possible. I showed it right here. Liar. Come on, liar. Come on, demon liar. Pretend fake person that you 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 pretend you you start with prayer, but you're a demon. Where where is it? Come on. Come on, liar. Where's the curved it's, it's, prism it's here? Liar. Hey liar. Where's somewhere. the curved prism, liar? It's in there somewhere. Where? I mean, where is it, liar? Where is it, liar? Where's the curved demon. prism, liar? Come on out, demon. Come, come on, on, liar. Come where on, is it? Demon. You got come nothing. You got come exposed. On, you. you lied. I showed that you're a liar. You are pathetic. You're stupid. You fell for the idiot, idiot, flat earth cult. And you're going out telling people your stupid cult religion. You make claims. You specifically said you can't make a rainbow inside. There's a rainbow inside, liar. How do you know there's no glass in that room? There's no damn glass in the room, idiot. That's a rainbow inside, liar. Okay. okay. Come on, That's liar. Cool. Where's the curved firmament in that room, liar? Were you in that room? Where's the curved... Yo, you said every experiment. You didn't say you were in the room for every experiment. You didn't say before I showed you this that you must be in the experiment, liar. You changed the rules, liar. You said this was impossible, liar. I showed you that you are a liar. You know what the demon's name Where is? Where is, is the lie? Where is the prism? Where is it? Come on. Where's the prism in this room? Show me the prism in this it's room. In there. It's in there. Where? I guarantee you there's a glass bowl in there. There's Where? There's a glass bowl in, in, in there. I Where? Don't Come on. You. you said you said the whole firmament. You, that ceiling is flat. But that there's that diamond. rainbow is there curved. Is Where is it? This is how easy that is. Where? Come on. Come on, liar. Make up new excuses when you got caught out in your lie. Pull up every Come on. Prism. Come on, liar. Video. Where is it? Where's the you're curved not, prism? Where is it? You, Where's the curved react. prism? Look how you react. You Where's the curved the prism, liar? I hate liars like you. You're There's disgusting. The gla gla glass bulb you isn't. Love. You said the firmament was the necessary part to make it curve, not the bulb. You changed the rules now when you got caught out as a deceived liar. Come on. Demon. Where is it? Come on, Come on liar. Come on out of him, demon. Lord. Oh, shut up. Demon, demonic spirit possessing. Wow. And he goes right to the insults. What a piece of crap. I destroyed you. You are so dumb. I hate people like you. You fake fake religious person starting this with prayer you are obviously intentionally making people of faith look bad you are a serial liar everything about your life daniel bland is a lie so sad so pathetic what an awful human and, it, and you didn't hear it right away he goes into insults like he's pretending to be this religious guy and all he can do is insult tell you what you insult but the earth is still a globe and you still lie that's all you have is lies your entire life is about lies how pathetic are you so let's review Let's review. You first said every experiment you claimed shows that the Earth is stationary. I asked for one. You you cited three or a couple different things, but you didn't actually have any evidence for them. You didn't have any. You're just like, oh, you shoot a bullet up, which shows that you do not understand the conservation of momentum. On a stationary Earth, bullet goes up, comes down. Fine. On a rotating Earth, bullet goes up, comes down that's how it works you, you you don't understand conservation of momentum it seriously is taught to elementary school students they don't call it conservation of momentum when it's introduced in class but it's usually about fourth grade fourth grade conservation of momentum if anybody remembers it 
you'd get that plate, the paper plate, and you'd cut out the corner of it. And you'd say, well, what happens when you, you send that marble around that paper plate? What's going to happen when it comes off? It's going to keep the momentum. It's going to come off of it. It's not going to stop moving as soon as it comes off that plate. But what direction is it going to go? Right? When the centrifugal and centripetal forces aren't there anymore, it's going to come off in a straight line. All right. He, uh, <laughs> where'd it go? No, no, he's still, he's still there. Um, <clears throat> so then, then you refuse to actually have any other experiments. You didn't have any experiments. You claimed experiments, but you didn't have any. Then you asked me, do I have any? I gave you three that anybody could independently verify. They could go get their own setup. They could go buy some, some helium. They could put it into a, a toroid like that they could de devise a uh, install a measurement device to measure the, the movement of that helium it's independently verifiable but an independent verification is actually broader than that independent verification is done when somebody else measures the same thing so when somebody else measures the rotation of the earth using a different method that is independent verification of the rotation of the earth i gave you three of them so one and then two independent verifications of the rotation of the earth you didn't like it your refutation for it was well you didn't have any you just said nah -uh. you said you repeated your same religious mantras right because your religious mantra is that you think that the earth is stationary and your only evidence for it actually is from the bible you don't have any actual evidence for it let's see then after you had no refutation for that and you waved that white flag what did you talk about you tried to talk about the height of the sun which you don't have and you couldn't even do the basic geometry for it let me draw it out because it was is so it's so funny you actually had a diagram of the united states there you go united states right there lake lake of the woods and you had sixty degrees right there. It was so ridiculous. Like you, your math is terrible. All right, here's what here's what he drew. Sun there, and he's and he's saying as if it's directly over California, and then. And the earth is three or the, the United States is 3000 miles wide. And somehow this was your geometry. But, but until I pointed out to you that the Tropic of Capricorn is south of California, you didn't even know that this wouldn't, that this didn't work. There's multiple angles involved here that you couldn't possibly understand because it's not directly up. It's not at, at Zenith. It's not at zero Zenith, right? On depending on the day of the year, when the sun is at its highest point in the sky above California, well, it's not above California, but as seen from California, it's never at zero zenith. Zero is straight up. Never. You didn't actually do the math on that because it's too complicated for you. Um, <clears throat> then I showed you my actual analysis of the height of the sun and your, your answer was to basically deny that triangulation works. How ridiculous that is. All peppered in there, you're insulting me. You're uh, using that little potty mouth of yours and uh, making, making accusations about stuff that doesn't change the shape of the earth and, uh, and should not be the type of thing that uh, somebody uses as an insult. Again, that's just an ad hominem. Uh, let's see. We have uh, a super chat from Redacted that says, Lucifer here. I have a, a message for my loyal son, Daniel. You're doing good work for me, son. I have a special spot in the wake of fire for you. Your father, the devil. A, a good message for you there, Daniel, from, from your father. Yes, real sickness. He does like the word Zenith, but he doesn't understand it really. So and Zenith... Um, as a couple usages when you're talking about measurements typically zenith 
uh, is straight up, zero zenith is straight up. Um, well, but you can say, well, when the sun is at its zenith, which would be at its highest point in the day, but your diagram, your diagram doesn't support that. Your diagram shows that you thought the sun was straight up at zero zenith over California. That's, that's what it would be necessary for it to work using that math, but I mean, you, you can't get the math. My gosh. So bad. All right. Then, then we got to, and this was, this was the trap. This was the trap. You claimed, like so many flurfs, you claimed in blinding ignorance, in absolute believing what you were told with zero critical thought put into it, you thought that that the the shape of a rainbow tells us something about the shape of the sky, the firmament, the dome. Of course it does not. You specifically claimed that it's impossible to have a uh, rainbow inside, but, but I showed the rainbow inside with a curve. And you, your only response to that, your only response is to pile another lie on top of lies. That's all you have. Flat Earth is a lie for people that are gullible and stupid, like you, Daniel. Gullible and stupid. You claimed that there was no way to have a, a rainbow inside. I showed you a rainbow inside. You said every single experiment ever. I said, show one. You didn't have one. So I showed one. Clearly, Every single experiment ever doesn't actually work. You don't have any actual experiments. Again, typical for you, zero. All right. Let me read a few things from the audience here. I, I, oh. The, the, the gall that you, uh, would, would start this with a prayer how disgusting oh absolutely disgusting that that you're like oh let truth be known and then you spend the whole time lying oh, gross so gross all right pg tony responding to me before the it even started said what's up up is the direction of maximum possible gradient in gravitational p potential <laughs> thank you for that tony uh fred farkle said just got here in time for the inside rainbow and the epic mc tune destruction of this goober five greenbacks well earned sir well thank you very much fred farkle siggy sigwald gifted 50 memberships thank you for that siggy siggy then comes back and says the bible is is as much proof of something as the silmarillion get real Hail Sagan. Yes, it, it, it absolutely is. And the, the big problem with using the Bible is every single person that reads it has a completely different interpretation of it from every single other person. There is no one interpretation of the Bible, right? Even if you, even if you take the premise, just put your hat on for a second, right? Accepting the Bible is, is truth, right? We critical thinkers can do this, right? Accept the Bible is true. Put that hat on. You then need to go interpret it. One person will say, this means this. Somebody else will say, this means this. And they're not the same thing. Which one is right? There is no obvious one that's right. That's a big problem. And it's a problem for, for all religions. Right? If it was super clear what everything in the Bible said, there would be no such thing as different denominations. Because everybody would, would read it, it'd be super clear, done. It's not the case. It's not the case. So, again, with, with the hat on, with the Bible is true hat on, there are denominations, and the Bible is true people 
have different denominations and they will say from other denominations this is the way it is and this is the way it is and they completely conflict with each other there's no one truth nobody has the actual true understanding as god intended it so all right you can you can take those hats off and put your put your normal hat on and the chat says hinduism describes the shape of the earth as a globe slash ball slash sphere rough roughly 30 times hindus can have equal justification in their belief as you but say different things how can we determine the actual shape of the earth that's a great question you go measure it i did um i i didn't i didn't show up but right i mean it's right here i i measured the radius of the earth right here because if you if you simply take that the sun is far away that's all take that the sun is far away part of the hypothesis a perfectly valid thing to do when doing an experiment hypothesize that the earth is far away from the sun when you do the actual math on it there's a little bit of the math there you find that these measurements net that the radius of the earth is 6437 6471 6498 kilometers a difference of only 27 kilometers and a 0.4 percent variation in those three and these aren't these aren't super precise measurements either these are you know you're using using chalk to draw the width of the line right so that the, that line is one centimeter wide so the variation there is one centimeter right our margin of error is one centimeter and we still get this incredibly close agreement confirming that the hypothesis of the earth being a sphere and the sun being very far away and falsifying the hypothesis that the earth is flat and the sun is small and local it's been falsified no experiment that i've ever seen actually works when you do multiple things like you're ridiculous this do the math right on this assuming that the earth is flat you'll get an elevation for the sun you will but do it from a different location you'll get a different height of the sun it won't work you're not that smart daniel and i'm being generous by saying not that smart i, I to be actually honest daniel you are incredibly dumb. You're really stupid. You can't do trigonometry. You boasted as if you could beat me in a test, a math test. I wouldn't boast like that myself, right? You can do math, but I don't need to dick measure and challenge somebody to do a, a, a standardized test like that. Um, while we're at it, I'll, I'll just I'll just cover how we know one of the many ways that we know the distance to the sun. Um, so here it is. This is this is my preferred version because because it's it's rather simple. And even though the math is significantly beyond the comprehension of any flat earther, it's actually rather simple math. It's middle school math, which again, middle school math is beyond the comprehension of of flat earthers so we got radar echoes from the sun uh, radar was bounced off the sun confirming that the sun is a physical object right it took a certain amount of time which we'll get into that's number one radar echoes of the sun the second one radar studies of the sun at 38 uh, mc over s that's milla um, mega cycles per second it's the frequency <clears throat> So different, different group here. Jesse James, no relation to the outlaw. This is in 1961, did that paper. This is the, the radar, the actual um, radar. Uh, it's, I can't get a whole lot bigger, but those are all antennas. That's a whole array of antennas that they used to send radar to the sun. The power of it was 500 kilowatts, a very strong signal. It bounced that off the sun. It took about 16 minutes to bounce back. So they sent the signal for 16 minutes. Then they received a signal for for 16 minutes as it came back from the sun. And they sent it in a very distinct pattern. 
to see what to, to make sure that the distinct pattern actually matches right so that you're not looking at just random blips it's a very and i'll, and I'll show you that uh, if i get to it in the paper here anyway those two and the amount of time that it took one of those papers says that it was 960 seconds the other says that it was 1000 seconds we average them together we get 980 seconds plus or minus 20. it's our margin of error you you do the math we know the speed of light that the length of the meter is based on the speed of light we know the speed of light there's no question about it distance is velocity times time so we take the velocity right there um 29,000 or about three 300,000 meters per second million sorry 300 million meters per second times 490 the 490 is the one-way distance is the one-way time we cut that 980 in half we get 490 giving us 1,000 or 146 million uh, kilometers 146 billion meters so that's how we know the distance to the sun nobody's ever refuted this i've shown this to flat earthers over and over and over again the only thing they have is nah -uh. they never have anything they are ignorant and they have pre-selected the mandatory re uh outcome and it doesn't match therefore they reject it this this is evidence if you, it was it was independently verified by a second group of people so <clears throat> anyway i include the margin of error analysis there 143 million kilometers 249 million kilometers or round round as you will confirming that that uh, it is between 89 million and 93 million miles away so yes we have measured the distance to the sun i did not use venus in this notice that poor flurfs sucks to be uh, to, to live in your life larry scott says the tech required to measure r is simple compared to the tech required to build a TV, which is much harder. Very true. And measure R meaning the radius of the Earth. Yes, and Larry Scott is a surveyor, understands trigonometry very well. So, like I showed, the, doing the Eratosthenes-type measurement is really simple. Right? And you don't go to NASA for it. You don't go to the government for it. There's no indoctrination allowed in it. All we have is the angle to the sun and the distance to the tropic of capricorn the distance of the tropic of capricorn is based on our degrees of latitude which is absolutely a necessity to know for celestial navigation that's worked for centuries so if, if the distance between lines of latitude wasn't well known celestial navigation would not work it does work therefore therefore the the distance between the lines of latitude is correct all right. <clears throat> Eddie Reese, <laughs> go back to Super Chats here. Eddie Reese says, well, this is off to a great start. Sarcasm. Many Karen says, I've studied all the Flurf memes too. However, I'm smart enough to not repeat them. And there is, uh, just for reference, that's Many Karen. Many Karen is a native Hebrew speaker and confirm the meaning of Hebrew words better than you who don't who doesn't speak Hebrew, Daniel. Pat in the chat says, Daniel, there is no reason to cite holy books here. And, and the, the point is well made. If you want to suggest that your holy book is correct, you need to reverse the order. You first go and find the things that support your holy book and then say, oh, look, my holy book is right because of this, not my holy book is right, therefore all of this must be the case. That's wrong. You've put the cart before the horse there. And all that does is show that your interpretation of the Bible is wrong. It's quite bad and embarrassing for other people. Right? Other people that look to the Bible because they're like, oh crap, this idiot is trying to say that the book that is our holy book is wrong. That's what you're claiming, Daniel. You're claiming that the Bible is wrong when you say that the Bible says that the earth is flat or, st or stationary because the earth is measured to be rotating. It is a fact. Nobody has ever refuted it. Nuh-uh, it's not a refutation. 
insults are not a refutation saying that somebody else has a particular sexual orientation is not a re refutation if you want to refute science you have to actually respond in a scientific manner find the paper find where it's wrong identify where what what was wrong was the measurement wrong was there something incorrect about the methodology was a, a, a number that they brought into it from some other measurement incorrect whatever it is you need to scientifically address it instead of just saying no -uh. that's all you have you just say no -uh, you don't like it don't care that's not how science is done and, but and this is this is absolutely to the point real sickness is many ancient slash sacred texts are packed with metaphorical truths and bs alike sure and david griffith see this this is why it seems like you are intentionally trying to make the bible look bad david griffith says why should we all take the bible seriously because david griffith i i let me put on if i can if I can do that, David, put on your hat for a second. David Griffith looks at the actions of Daniel Bland, who makes these claims that are wrong. And that Daniel Bland claims that the Bible, right, says things that David Griffith knows are factually incorrect. That says to David Griffith, the Bible isn't something that David Griffith might be interested in then. So Daniel, you have done a great disservice. If you think that maybe you would want David Griffith to think that the Bible was correct, you've done the opposite of that. You have pushed him farther away in your ridiculous claims and how you treat people. Right? But I, I'll say, take off my David Griffith hat and I'll just say David Griffith. Um, that's not, that's not what the Bible's about. Look at Jesus. When when they brought to Jesus the person that was supposedly very, very bad, they brought a prostitute to him. How did he respond to her? He loved her. He loved her. He didn't condemn her. He didn't, wasn't rude to her. He wasn't mean to her. He loved her. And they did not, in the end of the the, the the law said that they could have stoned her. They could have killed her right there. And she walked away from that living because of his love. David, that's what it's about. Not, not lying about the shape of the earth. So I know. Take it as you will. Um, <clears throat> thinking about cake says MC tune, bring me some evidence. Flurf. If there's a video on YouTube. He didn't even have a video on YouTube. Uh, Serene News 1 says, Gosh, I could have sworn that arrogance was a sin. <laughs> yeah. There is something about pride. Um, yeah. God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. James. Uh, Serena's one, unless I had read that, and Siggy Sigwald said, MC2, and I ran out of half-brained flurfs. Now he's looking for the flurfs in mental health institutions for the love of Thor. Kale Sagan. Well, uh, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, of, of the, of the Norse gods, but, uh, uh, it is, it is good fiction sometimes. Thanks, Siggy. Um, Manny Karen says, the only measurement with zero margin of error is how much physics flurfs know zero thank you for that setup grumpy old mechanic says on the one hand thousands and thousands of skilled astronomers physicists geologists and surveyors on the other hand this random crank with nothing siggy sigwald says the meth is strong with this one frocat says oh no demon exposure hail sagan you see, you're not impressing people. There, uh, Daniel Bland. <clears throat> Lord Illuminous Pooh says, this idiot is clearly from Cobb County. So, uh, I don't know Georgia. I don't know Cobb County, Georgia. But, um, I guess we can all 
trying to figure out from context what you're talking about. Many Karen again says Flurf logic. It's math. It's a mathematical model. I can't understand even basic math. Therefore, MC Tune doesn't understand the model. Exactly. And that goes back to his claim. He's like, well, if the Earth is moving this way, this way, this way, right, and these three different rotate. Well, Flurfs don't understand that you simply add vectors. The Earth is moving in one vector. The sum of all of those other vectors. One vector. It's not simultaneously moving in all these. No. It's just a simple velocity with a slight uh, curve. Very slight curve. That's it. That's what it is. You don't understand the model. But if you want to actually refute, if you're like, well, how come Polaris is visible every night? What you need to do is go look at the actual claim. How much should Polaris move according to the globe? You have made a claim about how much you think that Polaris should move according to the globe, but it's wrong. You need to actually do the analysis, then compare to observation. You skipped that at doing the analysis part. All you did was indoctrinated quotes from somebody else telling you the sequence of words to say. You're indoctrinated. Um, all right. <clears throat> Eddie Reese says he's got a 2D mind living in a 3D world. <laughs> Keith Milner says, for a guy who claims to be religious, he sure makes a lot of untruthful claims. I wonder how his God will judge him for this. It's a good, it's a good point, but... Uh, well, he said he's not a Christian, so I don't know what his, uh, he's, sometimes they tend to get into this wacky Old Testament stuff, but the, the general idea that is, uh, kind of the um, umbrella of, of Christianity says that everybody, everybody has sinned and, and, uh, what we do for good stuff doesn't, doesn't cut it. Um, so it's not this balance, this, the scales where you put good on one side, bad on the other, um, <clears throat> Just that the, 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 um, the, the thing to attain was perfection and nobody gets perfection save for one. And, and, uh, that Jesus is the one that did it. That's the claim, right? Of a general umbrella of Christianity. Um, and that, uh, that you accept that and then all of it is gone. So to the point, I wonder how his God will judge him for this. Keith Milner. The same as all of the other stuff, right? So, but you, you should not go sinning you should not go lying just because you have you can right <clears throat> anyway um Serena's news one says thinks that if he refuses to verify anything it makes it not independently verifiable not the sharpest tool in the shed that's true actually the three experiments that i brought up anyone who is interested could independently verify the same methodology Go ahead. Get some get some spinning discs, put a motor on them, you know, machine them very well. You need to be precise about it. Suspend it from a wire and see if it rotates according to what the globe predicts. You could do that. It would cost money and time and resources and skill, but any independent verification requires the same thing. Right? <clears throat> Heat Shield says, I'm I am Jack's helium circling in a tube. The first rule of helium circling in a tube is don't talk about helium circling in a tube. <laughs> I, to just, you know, how ridiculous. That's not actual evidence. That's all you had. Right? It's again, it's, it's a failure to understand conservation of momentum. That's what it is. Right? The helium... The helium has no vis viscosity, so it doesn't have friction between the, the liquid and the wall. Since it doesn't have any any resistance between it, the movement of the of the device is independent of the movement of the helium. And because it's a quantum quantum state, it's actually there's very few things in in meat space that are perfect. Quantum stuff can be so. 
the zero viscosity is actually zero, zero viscosity. <clears throat> so you, you put that donut, you, you connect it to the earth, and if the earth rotates, right, that donut will rotate, but the helium inside won't. And then you can measure the difference between the rotation of the device and the rotation of the helium. That's how it is a measurement of the rotation of the earth. Denying that is ignorance, probably, in your part, because you're not smart. Um, if you did understand it, so I, I, would, I, would, I would hold off this one for you, but if you did understand it, it would be a lie to reject it. So I'll just, I'll just say in this case, you're ignorant. So, um, Ray Ronnie D says, imagine thinking that Witsit, he wrote Witless, is any type of intellectual. We don't need to, though. This guy exists. Yep. Siggy Sigwall, uh, you know, Greg Andrews is a new member at Newton. Thank you for that. Siggy comes back with, it breaks my heart to think people like this have mothers who constantly <laughs> worry about them. Oh my goodness. Those poor ladies. Hail Sagan. Um, hold on a second. Do, do, do. You left. And, uh, oh, nope, I gotta close this. Okay. Yes. I, I actually, I'm like, that's enough. He started going for the insults. Like he's he's making accusations about me, and he's he's praying to his his uh, well, apparently his God is Satan, because his he lies. The father of lies is not. Anyway, he's praying to Satan about me. Oh, I'm not interested. So, but yes, the poor ladies. It it's a good point. She if she if his mom is still kicking. Yeah, that's my son. Don't tell anybody. Uh, Mark Beiser says, not sure if I agree completely that he is just ignorant. Ignorance can be fixed, but stupid is forever. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, you're, yeah it's a good point, Mark Beiser. He could be ignorant. He could be stupid. I don't think in this instance that he's lying. I don't think he's smart enough to rise up to the level of lying. He's just dumb or ignorant or both. Definitely both. Mouth breather says something, something thou shalt not bear false witness. Flurf has some sins to confess to before he prays to God that the bulldogs win again. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, yep. Well, all right. Back to my previous stuff. Uh, that that does have a little bit of a of a Catholic feel to it. I, I'm not super familiar with Catholicism, but uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> not saying that mouthpiece was Catholic. Just like the the idea behind the you have to con, uh, confess confess sins to God before you pray about the bulldogs winning. <laughs> I love that. Siggy gifted another fifty. Is that another fifty memberships? Yes, it is. Oh, dude, Siggy, thank you so much. You're the best. Um, David Griffith says, what, what's with this demonic nonsense? So the demonic nonsense for this, for this flurf is he is heavily indoctrinated, super aggressively thinks that, that his version of the Bible is totally correct about the shape of the earth. And anybody that disagrees with him must therefore be demonic. That's how, that's how thoroughly indoctrinated he is um it's it's a really sad thing and and typically i've found that the religious flurfs are the most awful horrible vile people on the planet so terrible and this guy wasn't the worst but but he was pretty bad um i think one of the worst so far is exo from last week wow what an awful guy uh, certainly, um, you'll find that Terry R. Eicher is another awful, terrible person. Awful, gross, disgusting religious flirt. So, anyway, yeah, that's the thing. If you think about it, right, it's this weird 
the, the, this, this, the, he thinks that the shape of the earth is a spiritual issue. There are people that think that the earth is flat and think that the Bible says so that aren't like, oh, well, it's a, it's a spiritual warfare thing. He's obviously in that, that uh, bucket there, David. Really weird. Uh, many Karen. Oh, many Karen has a, a message for you, Daniel. Many Karen says, Daniel, you're, ex you are very hot. Are you single? So, um, Daniel, if you're interested, many Karen lives in Israel. Maybe you two can get uh, hooked up. Um, but anyway, and, um, many Karen, there you go. Daniel, he, he likes you. Uh, anyway, green bull says yes why are the religious ones always the most vile ones i don't know it's it's troubling to me that the relig religious religious are the worst right it, it's got to be troubling to anybody of any faith at all that the religious people tend to be awful in so many ways in in certain verticals right not everywhere but why in flat earth are the religious ones the most awful and horrible? I don't know. Why? I'll tell you. The, I've, I've encountered a lot of flirts. The, the one, generally the ones that are less religious are the ones that are nicer. That's something for you religious flirts to think about. Why? Look, look at, look on. Look on my Facebook, this Timothy Dixon. Uh, look on my Facebook, um, um, Chris Kristen. Just just go look. All, all the ones that comment constantly, they're they're horrible. They're terrible people. Um, really disgusting. Uh, oh look, Terry R. Eicher sent me a message. <laughs> Wow, idiot, Terry Eicher, what an absolute moron. <clears throat> uh, let's see, I, I was thinking of, I was trying to pull up, pull up the name. Um, hold on, hold on, I'll get it here. But the, if, if you want to see examples of awful people, right? Um, <clears throat> let's see, Timothy Diggs, yeah, Jennifer Lee, who is using a fake account not her actual name. I think it's a guy. So this Jennifer Lee, we think is a, a, a purchased account that was hacked. Um, <clears throat> first, Kristen Taylor, we think is actually the same person as Jennifer Lee. Could be wrong, but it does seem to be the same person. But, but uh, if you look on my most recent post, you'll see both of them there. Uh, let me know if you think that they're the same person. Um, there you go. Yeah, Timothy Timothy Dixon is uh, it posted on there. <clears throat> so, yeah, let let them know how you feel. Yeah, just go go interact with them and see what do you what do you think about them? How how incredibly dumb they are. Um, <clears throat> and uh, let me let me remind you also, in case in case you didn't know, Terry R. Eicher, December twenty December thirty first of 2019 was it no as sooner it was more recent 2021 december 31st of 2021 was arrested what was he arrested for let me pull it up here it's uh it's important it's important i'll pull it up for you here it is so there it is 2021 12 31 Aggravated battery slash public place found guilty on uh, October 17 of last year. So about six months ago, he was found guilty of aggravated battery. Now that was on New Year's Eve 2021 on the um, 3rd of January, the very first day that the courts were open due to the uh, New Year's holiday, his ex-girlfriend filed an emergency order of protection against him. 
So Terry had an aggravated battery arrest the very next day that the courts are open to get an emergency order of protection. His ex-girlfriend, the mother of his offspring, files an emergency order of protection against him, suggesting to me that she was somehow involved in this aggravated battery. So question to you, Terry R. Eicher, did you beat up your ex-girlfriend on New Year's Eve 2021? Are you, are you a woman beater, Terry? Is that what you do? You beat women? I don't know. And you can, you can give me the answer, Terry. Just, just, you know, maybe, maybe you could say who it was that you beat up and maybe then we can go verify that it was. And I mean, I'm not going to harass your, your ex-girlfriend. She's already suffered enough that she had to put up with your crap. And and so unfortunate that she is stuck with you somehow for, for an extended amount of time because she made the mistake of outputting your offspring. All right. But we can hold out hope that you never get custody of your children, that you never get child children, I don't know how many, that you never, ever get any exposure to them. Hopefully that's the case, Terry R. Eicher really hope that they never have to experience how horrible you are, Terry. You are so dumb and a terrible, terrible person. So, all right. <clears throat> anyway, I just thought it was necessary to, to mention that about Terry. And, uh, if, you're, if you're curious about it, it's all public record. Go to my website, search for Terry. You'll find it. So. Um, Oh, we got some we got some some chatter in the in the room here. Um C V McCuller says he's the guy Jesus cast out of the temple. Well, you make a good point. Right? Who 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 was it? Yeah, it was the Pharisees, the ones that that they were better than everybody else. That's the ones that Jesus constantly butt heads with. Like this guy. Right? That, that, that he would open open in prayer to try, like, he's going to reveal to me, like, he's so, oh, he's good. Please, God. Yeah, whatever. Gross. M2M says, all this talk about how good he is and was going to whoop MC Toon's butt and he's getting humiliated, shown to be totally and utterly inept, all just being a flurf, let alone anything else. <laughs> slithery <laughs> Slith this is funny slithery says flywheels always scare the hell out of me even ones that small so a 50 centimeter flywheel that's that's not too small it was 40 uh, 40 kil kilograms but even these in a hard drive spinning at 7200 rpm or 10,000 rpm if they're the the high-end in uh, enterprise ones <laughs> yeah they they uh, when they're just a tiny bit out yep or the really scary things is when people have the uninterruptible power supplies that are kinetic, right? They have a giant stack of disks that's rotating pretty fast. Uh, and typically they're using some sort of magnetic levitation, which works equally against gravity, right? You have gravity pulling down by a certain amount, and then you have to have the same quantity of electromagnetic uh, levitation pushing up by the same amount. It's not anti-gravity. It confirms that gravity exists. Anyway, those go get going, and there's a ton of energy in them. If anything were to go wrong, wow, yes. Those are frightening. I can't imagine being in a data center, right? I definitely prefer the battery version of UPSs. Um, Pat in the chat says, all the face desk. Wow, this is fun. <laughs> Yeah, H Jasper E has a bunch of emojis. It's a it's a face emoji and an arrow and a thumbs up and a thumbs down and a piece. Thank you for that. Three News One says name calling not a winning strategy. Yep, the Nodel Prize, which um, which is the fifteen degrees per hour drift that Flat Earthers confirmed, um, said Daniel, if you had wanted to make Flat Earth look dumb. What would you have done different? 
I, I don't know. I don't know if he could have done much more. But good job, Daniel. If, if it is your intent to humiliate flat earthers, you succeeded. You did. Eddie Reese says, how much is Witsit paying him to be here? I'm sure Witsit is a bit embarrassed if you were to watch this. Be like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yes. Srinu's one says, as it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boasting is evil. James 4.16 NIV. Oh, they only take the King James. Actually, they're, they're, they're getting away from the King James now more. Because, uh, you know, it was the king. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for that stringing this one. Um, Lord Illuminous Pooh says, do not do meth, kids. <laughs> no, it says, sorry, sorry, I read that. It says, do math, not meth, kids. Luke Filewalker says, all Daniel shows is that his mind is already bland. And I gotta say, there is a band called Daniel Band that I didn't like a ton, but they're they're good stuff. I've seen them all of once. Um, <clears throat> and so when I saw his name, I, I kept like seeing Daniel Band instead of Daniel Bland. No re no association. I'm sure they would be quite horrified to to even have anything similar uh, named to them. Keith Milner says, Daniel, I live near the equator. On the equator, I observe the sun rise due east, have almost no shadow at midday, and set due west. How does that not falsify the earth being flat? It certainly does falsify the earth being flat, because according to the flat earth, let's see. The uh, let's get the dirt pizza map that he that he believes in. Yeah, this is his religious map. According to the dirt pizza map. On the equator, <clears throat> the sun must rise northeast and it must set northwest. It doesn't. So on the equator, the sun would have to be over here at sunrise. But it's not over there on the equator on the equinox. It has to be over the equator up here. Doesn't match. Falsifies flat earth again. There is no map that you can construct that works even for the one day a year, one time of day, one di line of longitude. Take any line of longitude on the equinox, any line of longitude, and make a map that matches sunrise angle. Actually, you need two observations. Make a map that matches sunrise angle. I've done it for sunrise angle. It, it, it's a crazy looking curved map, but it's the only way to do it. You actually have to make it into a big C shape. And then 12 hours later, make a map for sunset. It's a C going the other direction. The shape of the earth, the, the actual physical earth didn't undulate during the course of 12 hours. There is no actual flat earth map that can possibly work. So, all right. <laughs> uh, all right, we're getting to the super chats where I was getting a bit animated. I was mad at him. I don't, oh, religious flirts, don't like them, especially when they really get to lying. They're nasty. nasty. Luke Filewalker says, all Daniel shown is that his mind is really bland. Uh, okay. Da -da. Mouth breather says, if I closed my eyes, I would have thought that this was Austin the entire time. Just needs to say azimuth field of vision and my bingo card will be done. Well, he he differs from Austin in the uh the the failure to explain why things go down. He says density buoyancy. Austin says electromagnetic wank. <clears throat> Whatever, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um there it is. Oh yeah. Already read this from Ken. G about the D Daniel. Do you pray to your God with that vulgar mouth? Fact based says biggest fail in the world. Top dreamer. Best Dunning Kruger mountain peak house build. <laughs> nice. Tim Davidson says this dude is so in the closet. 
He's finding Christmas presents. He's found the way to Narnia. Aslan says, come out, dude, be free. Well, um, <clears throat> Daniel Bland, Tim Davidson thinks that uh, you and many Karen could have uh, a fun time together. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get that, but um, all right. Serena's once says, my planetarium is so old, it's on the third sheepskin roof. You see, Isaiah 20, 40, no, 4022 says that uh, he spreads out the, the canopy and the, the skies like a tent. Well, to the audience, a tent very likely had sheepskin. It was a sheepskin roof. So you're gonna, if you're going to take the Bible literal, then the, 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 the firmament, the sky, the dome, the whatever is sheepskin. And it's held up by sticks. Just, just being literal. King Ed V says, "Ask him about radar horizon, please." Oh gosh, he wouldn't. See, he, he. Think about, it. think about it. He couldn't. He's like, he actually quoted Rob Skiba's thing. I have, I, have, I bought Rob Skiba's deal, and I, and I, they, they, I don't know intentionally. They use the wrong side of the of the lens, right? Rob Skiba in his video talks about the direction that light refracts, right? That it refracts down. He specifically talks about light refracting down. And in Rob Skiba's video of uh, this is about the uh, the across Chicago thing, and they actually when I don't know 2016 or so when when the Chicago skyline was visible from a high point on the on the dunes across uh across the um Lake Michigan they they um they had a demonstration of it in the actual news piece where they they had a camera they had a table and then they had this uh, skyline of Chicago in the distance and they showed it and you couldn't see you couldn't see Chicago. And then they slid in this um, this magnifying glass. It was a, I think it was a Fresnel lens. But it was the top part of it, which will cause light to bend down. right? And, and then you saw Chicago. So what does Rob Skiba do? He creates this thing where it uses the bottom part of the lens, not the top part. The bottom part of the lens that will bend light up, not down. He used the opposite. Was Rob Skiba being intentionally deceptive or was Bob, Rob Skiba dumb or ignorant? Probably dumb and ignorant. He, he, he had no clue what he was talking about. He shouldn't have been talking about scientific matters. Anyway, I have it. I, I got a video of it, of, of using the correct part of the lens. And what do you know? Things are... Things do the opposite of what Rob Skiba showed because it it does not make the the skyline get obstructed bottom up. It makes you see it more. So, um, Tim Davidson says equal and opposite double rainbows. It's Marissa again. I mean, they always fall for that. They're so easily indoctrinated. They'll just repeat the same flair of mantras. They'll just say you can't make a a rainbow inside that's curved and then i show it they're like then they just go they go nuts because I, I mean i didn't try to trigger him that early <laughs> but it worked right he went crazy he had nothing he got caught in a lie right i love it uh lord of luminous Pooh says if he says sano luminescence i'm out <laughs> he didn't get there he didn't get there i bet he is no doubt. No doubt he is. And he'd, he'd quote some Bible verse about it that really didn't say anything about it. Pat the Chat says, Tune the indoor rainbow was obviously possessed by demons. <laughs> like, seriously. He specifically claimed that the rainbow is because of the curve of the firmament. That was his claim. He said that the curve of the rainbow matches the curve of the firmament. 
the thing above it. That's what his claim was. So in an in, in the indoor rainbow, above it was a flat ceiling, yet the rainbow was still curved. And he's like, oh, there's a curved prism somewhere in the room. Sorry, your claim is that the sky has a curved prism in it. Not that somewhere else is a curved prism. Got caught. Pat the chat says, crack a toony kaboom. Yes, this is where I started getting really bad. Beaver Zero says, take my money. I like this MC tune. <laughs> Fact bases love the crack a tune. Oh my gosh. Mr. Zero says LMFAO, which is a band. Uh, every day I'm shuffling. I show up over an hour late, and Tune is just going ape shat on this fool, and I love it. I have no clue what's going on over so soon. Eddie Reese, was he trying to exercise Tune at the end? Yes, he was. He was trying to do an exorcism. That's how deluded he is. That's how deep into the indoctrination of the Flurf cult he is. He thinks, he thinks that anybody that disagrees with him must be possessed by a demon. That's how dumb he is. Wow. Um, David says, since Daniel is obviously or is obsessed with sexuality, I'm surprised he didn't take issue with the fact that the rainbow clearly wasn't straight. Yep. <laughs> Holy Small says the Krakatoon is my spirit animal. Back basis, Krakatoon wins, erupts ex unexpectedly. Tony got off. Tony goes off. Tony goes off. Uh, Redacted. I'm just going to read this again. Redacted says, Lucifer here. I have a message for my loyal subject, Dan my loyal son, Daniel. You're doing a good job. Doing good work for me, son. I have a special spot in the lake of fire for you. Your father, the devil. Fred Farkle just got here in time for the rainbow and the epic MC tune destruction of this goober. Uh, BT Tony says, always happy to help. If you have trouble remembering where up is, you have my permission to darn that definition on a pillow. <laughs> he used the word darn. Oh, Tony, I love it. I will, I will... I will output a needlepoint needlepoint inscription of of that quote uh, for for my wife to darn onto a pillow post haste. Thank you. Larry Scott. Yeah, the tech the tech required to measure the radius of there is a simple compared to the tech required to build a TV. Fact base is crack a Tony, crack a tune, crack a Craig, crack a Phil, crack a Phil. Oh, I don't know if it's possible. Professor Phil Bell? I don't know. Um, two AHD cats says, don't fart in a submarine. No? That's a good... Yeah, don't. Don't do that. Um, do Deus Ex Tomato says, remember Matthew 6, 5 to 8. Well, I'm going to have to look it up. I don't know it offhand. I'll probably... Oh, yeah. Okay. I almost actually went into this with him. So yes, I do. I did remember. I just didn't remember it was Matthew 6, 5 to 8. This is speaking to the Pharisees. Jesus, who had many run-ins with the Pharisees, this is what he said to them. Hold up. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in synagogues, on the street corners to be seen by others. That's what he was doing. He wanted to start praying so that he could be seen by others. Right? Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. 
Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Zumi, thank you for that. Um, thank you for bringing that up. That That's exactly it. And, and there's other parts where he talks about uh, how the Pharisees would stand on the corners and they'd put ashes on their head, right? They'd wail. They'd be, oh, I'm so righteous. I'm on the corner. I'm praying to God. Jesus said, no, don't be like them. Don't show off and be prideful in how you pray. Do it in private. It's between you and God. Exactly. October 14, 2023 and October 8, 2024 are two upcoming solar eclipses. Just a second. Let me... I have it. I, oh, where'd it go? Oh, right here. Right here. This is from the Sun Express. Um, both tracking diagonally across the United States, intersecting over southern Texas. Let's have the FLIRFs explain the tracks in the FLIRF map. Let's look it up. Um, April 14, 2023. Or, sorry, October. Was it October 14, 2023? So, oh, that's the lunar eclipse. Gotta get the solar. Um, there, right there it is. Annular solar eclipse. October 14, 2023. This was modeled using VSOP 87, which I previously mentioned, and uh, ELP 2000. So ELP 2000 is specifically a way to, pre a, a mathematical model to predict the location, time, duration uh, of eclipses. This is, this was output from ELP 2000 and they use VSOP 87. VSOP 87 is an ephemeris of the locations of the objects in the solar system. And I'll put this. Um, the interesting thing, and this this is the one that was near Australia. The interesting thing um, in April. The interesting thing, these are correct. It uses the globe to predict this, the globe, solar system, moon distance, all that. And it's correct. This uses, so will this be correct? Yes, it will. Everybody knows it. This will go across the United States on October 14th. Actually, mm, oh, Texas. Yeah, Texas, you lucky dog. You get that one too. So, <clears throat> hmm. how is that done on the flat map? It's not. There is no predicted, no prediction for eclipses using flat earth. None. None. Uh, <laughs> Professor Phil Bell, did God mute MC Tune Live? <laughs> no. Um, all right. Slithery says the prototype gyrobus public transport system had a three ton. 3,000 RPM flywheels. Holy cow. Had had three ton flywheels. Multiple or just one? Wow. Gen X Glober says, I'm a Christian globe believer. Don't let the flurf devil irk you. He wasn't worth your sanity. Oh, yeah. The lies on lies on lies from this... From the guy pretending to be super religious. Oops. Fact base is crack a fill far more soft than fill a crack. Just, just say. <laughs> crack a fill, fill a crack. Oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> uh, pet the chest is don't forget Leslie invited us down for that. Yes, I, I'm not sure where I'm going to go. Um, uh, my, my, uh, actually have land not far that I can go to uh, uh, as well. Uh, so, so I have another stream coming up with Punchy. If you've not, if you don't know Punchy, he was around for a while and then, and he's kind of been out for a while. And I sent him a message a while ago. I'm like, Hey, you still around? He's like, yep, but just been busy. I'm like, Hey, you should come on. He's like, Okay, so he's coming on. We're just going to chat. So, uh, Barry F. says, Toon, do you ever get the impression you're preaching to the choir? Um, you know, th this is a very diverse group here, people. 
you 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 are diverse live chat audience um there's christians there's atheists there's people that are definitely not in favor of religion at all um the the ultimate reductionist dude i love reading his stuff some of your stuff i mean like don't post that stuff but right all across the board we can all have these other things that we agree or disagree on but we all are united in how derpy the flurfs are so let that be what we celebrate I don't know. I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to get too too philosophical here. So, uh, Deuce X, uh, Deus X Tomato says maybe McFlatty can have a stream with Flunchy one day. That could be McFlatty and Flunchy. Um, Casey Cooper says I think you need to stand a wee bit closer to your razor when you shave. Yeah, I, this, today I'm I'm like I should shave, and then. And then I just got busy. I, I couldn't. So anyway, people, thank you very much. Um, no thank you to to the... Um, hold on. There we go. No thank you to Daniel for how, being such a horrible person. For trying to actually, like, exercise the demon out of me. I'm still here. Clearly, there was no demon to exercise. Um, you lied a whole bunch. You got caught in a lie, and I called you out. Yeah, and then you had to insult me more. And, uh, nah. Yeah. When you started getting that insulty. So, you know, things like that, <clears throat> um, not gonna happen on YouTube. I'm not gonna, right? YouTube will, will flag that kind of stuff. Um, just to let some, some douchebag say that kind of stuff no sorry anyway um i'm gonna get going i'm going to be here just in a little bit with with flunchy and uh not flunchy sorry punchy we're gonna have a have a chat and just uh just hang out for a while so thank you everybody for for sticking along sticking around um for um yeah for crack a tune <laughs> anyway people we'll see you later thanks a lot oh Darn, it didn't load. It didn't load. I'll I'll get it one of these. I'll get it just a second. Um Greg Greg, Greg Edmund. Where'd it go? Let's go. It's it's weird that it does this. What's coming back? There it is. Greg Edmund. So yeah, it the, the outro didn't happen. Um <laughs> uh where'd it go? Greg Edmund said, if you want to spread hate, stick with Twitter. <laughs> so anyway all right people this time hopefully it's already loaded and it won't blank out see it worked i just need to redo that <laughs>